let's go ahead and start. The fact that I'm here speaking to you today is because we are undergoing a paradigm shift in medicine. Does anybody know what a paradigm is? Major change in thinking. This is the old paradigm that we're moving away from. And the old paradigm was, you know, you got sick, something was wrong, you went to your doctor. The doctor examined you and gave you a prescription. And inherent in that prescription was this advice. Take what I tell you, follow my advice. You don't need to understand your body or your lab work. Please don't ask too many questions. Sorry, you're out of time. Anybody ever have that experience before going to the doctor? That's really the old paradigm. The old paradigm used the word patient. And patient comes from the Latin patiens, which means one who endures or suffers calmly or without complaint. That's where that word comes from. So I thought, well, maybe we should be using the word client. But really, the word client means one who begs from or beseeches a powerful figure. So we sort of need a new word in medicine to describe the doctor-client-patient relationship that we don't have yet. The old paradigm is a disease maintenance paradigm. Basically, the old paradigm treats drugs, it treats disease with uh, surgery or drugs, medications. The drug industry, for those of you who are interested, is a $791 billion a year industry. That's 2010 data. Very hard to get data on how much the drug industry makes, but that's where that reference comes from. In the US, it's a $307 billion a year industry. That's a lot of money. The average number of prescriptions per Medicare patient, including refills, is about 28.5 per year. 11.5% of Medicare patients use no drugs, but 25%, one quarter of all Medicare patients, use six or more medications every single day. So I'll ask you how many medications you are on and how many you're willing to tolerate if you subscribe to the old paradigm. The old paradigm, which is a disease maintenance paradigm, is also an expensive paradigm. So long-term care, and this is AARP information, cost per month in this country right now is $7,080 for a private room in a nursing home. That's $236 a day if you need long-term care. $6,600 for a semi-private room, that's $183 every day. If you're in an assisted living unit, you can expect to spend $3,693 on average, that's $123 a day. Or if you need home health aid, the average for the country is about $22 an hour for that. I would ask you if you can afford this, $44,000 to $85,000 a year for long-term care if you don't prevent chronic diseases of aging and need that long-term care. Or if your family could afford it, because that's who will end up having to take care of you, probably your children. But there is another option, which is why you're here today and why there is a new paradigm coming. And the new paradigm is really based on the Latin word for doctor, which means teacher. That word comes from the Latin docere. And that's why I'm here today, to give you the information to hopefully empower you to be part of the new paradigm. The new paradigm is an anti-aging paradigm. And we'll talk about what that term means a little bit later. But essentially, the anti-aging paradigm believes in prevention to lower your risk for all diseases. You must slow your rate of aging at the cellular level. This is a really important concept. So if you look at Oprah magazine, or you look at Moore magazine, or any of the magazines targeted to women, you'll see a lot of advertisements for anti-aging creams, anti-aging makeup, anti-aging topical this, that, or the other. I even saw anti-aging shampoo. This is not what I'm talking about when I'm talking about anti-aging. I'm talking about treating at the cellular level to slow the rate of aging. It's a critical difference. You need to start as soon as possible. So uh, we started our anti-aging program when, when I was still in my 30s, Daniel was in his young 40s. Whatever age you're at now is a good time to start, especially if you're over the age of 35. Aging isn't optional. Really, there is no such thing as anti-aging. You can't prevent aging, but optimal aging is, and that's what we're gonna be talking about today.